Welcome to Team Help Desk for Outlook. In this demonstration, we will explore how to install, configure and work with the Technician Web Access site that is connected with Team Help Desk and Outlook. There are basically five steps required for a successful configuration of a Technician Web Access site. The first step is to set up a web folder as virtual directory in your IIS server. Select your existing website in your IIS manager and right-click to choose new and then click virtual directory. You will be prompted with this virtual directory creation wizard that will guide you to create a new virtual directory on your existing website. Type the alias for the virtual directory, say TWA, and specify the physical folder on the local server to map to this alias. For this demonstration, I will create a new folder, TWA, in the default IIS physical folder located in the C drive on this server. Here, you need to specify read and run scripts permissions for this virtual directory. And finish the virtual directory creation wizard. You can see the new virtual directory, TWA, with a gear symbol under the IIS manager. Now, right click TWA, properties, and go to ASP.NET tab. Here, you need to select the version of ASP.NET. Select version 2.0.50727. Click OK to save the changes. The second step is to set the TWA virtual directory as a shared network folder. Right-click the TWA folder and select Sharing and Security to invoke the Properties dialog. In this Sharing tab, select the option Share this folder and go to Permissions. By default, any users on the local network have read permission over the shared folder. For our needs, we need to allow all help desk managers to have full control permission. You can either add individual user or a group. In our example, we have defined a group service desk comprising of all help desk managers so that setting permission for all users can be done in a single click. Now check the option Full Control. Likewise, add the same help desk group under the security tab and grant full control access. Notice that the shared folder would now appear with a hand icon to signify a shared resource over the network. The third step is to place all the technician web access files and subfolders into the shared network folder. Go to the Team Help Desk Manager Programs File folder in your system. There you will find this zip file, Technician Web Access, that contains all the web files and subfolders. Extract all these contents to our TWA Shared Network folder. The fourth step is to set the ASP.NET permission on the temp subfolder. This is an important step, so make sure you follow it carefully. In Windows Server System, where the IS Manager is hosted, open the TWA Shared Network folder. There, you will find this temp subfolder. Right click this temp folder and go to Properties and Security tab and select the ASP.NET account. Different version of IIS server has different ASP.NET account name. For example, in IIS version 5, it is ASP.NET. And in IIS version 6, it is IIS underscore WPG group. Whereas in IIS 7 version, it is IIS underscore USRS group.
In our case, we have IIS 6 version. So, we will allow the IIS underscore WPG group full control over the temp subfolder. The final step now is to configure the technician web access specific settings from the team help desk manager tool in Outlook. Open the web access settings panel. Here, in this technician web access portion, specify the UNC path to the TWA network folder. You can check this option to allow Team Help Desk Manager Add-in to update the technician web access specific settings data automatically when there is any change in the Help Desk settings in Outlook. Now, we are all set. Click the Update Data to save and finish the Technician Web Access configuration. Doing this will save or update the Technician Web Access specific metadata files in the TWA Network Web folder. If you open the bin subfolder in the virtual directory, you will find a number of XML files that were generated by Team Help Desk Manager Add-in from Outlook. Now, our Technician Web Access site is successfully set up. We can now open it from a web browser. The Technician Web Access site is a collection of ASP.NET web pages that cater to the help desk staffs on the web. The idea behind this site is not to substitute the team help desk add-in functionality. Rather it is to complement the support of a web interface with which remote technicians that do not have access to the exchange resource can easily work on support cases, thereby not limiting the help desk operation when some technicians are off-site. Technicians with valid web access rights will be prompted to enter user credential when logging into the TWA website. The password required here is defined by the help desk managers for each technician in the team help desk technician list. Apart from the password, help desk managers can also specify if a particular technician can log into the TWA site by toggling this admin access switch for each technician. Once logged on, you will be taken to the member section where you can decide what to perform in the TWA web interface. You can choose to access all cases that are assigned to you in the first section. In the second section, you can post a new support case directly to the Team Help Desk Ongoing Cases folder in Outlook. In the last section, you can query and view other cases that are not assigned to you. In this My Cases section, you would find all the support cases assigned to you, both ongoing and resolved, from the Team Help Desk Exchange folders. To load a case, simply select it and click the Open Case link. As you can notice, just as in the Outlook support case form, this web form consists of fields for problem description, color details, problem category, and type, due date, assets, and custom fields. These fields are all laid out in sections to allow for easy navigation and reach. Fields such as problem category, type, status, and department are available in drop-down list to limit the choice the technician can select for such fields. All the associated emails to this case are also listed here. You can view, reply, or forward the emails just like in Outlook.
as this is an ongoing case, once you have worked on this web support case, you can either save the changes or mark it as resolved. Doing this, the same action will be replicated in the actual support case item in Outlook. Here is a resolved case. You can reopen this case directly from this form. Doing so, the actual resolved case item in Outlook will be reopened and notification email to the assigned technician will be sent out automatically. This is the service request form. New support requests can be logged by the technician directly to the ongoing cases folder in Outlook via this web form. Here, I can compose the detailed description on the problem the caller is experiencing. This drop-down field consists of the callers defined in the Team Help Desk Callers list. I had selected an existing caller instead of filling manually. This is useful when you had to manually log a new support request case and the caller is on the phone. Selecting an email address automatically populates other contact details, thereby reducing time spent trying to log every single detail information on the caller. You can assign this case to a technician by choosing one from this drop-down list. The technician will be automatically notified either via email and or SMS. I can also tag a problem category and type to the support case along with the priority. If the help desk managers have defined service level agreements, that would be available in this service level drop-down. The due date field enables you to set a time before which the support request case should be resolved. Associated with this due date are automatic notifications and reminders options which team help desk manager Adin would send out to the concerned technicians. I can also upload any number of related files as attachments, and these will be available in the actual case item in Outlook. Now, I can submit this support case. Team Hell Desk Manager Add-in in Outlook would process and generate a new support case in the ongoing cases subfolder. Let us now explore the Other Cases section. Here, I can make a search on any support cases that are available in both Resolved and Ongoing Cases folders. Alternatively, I can just select a particular caller and query Team Help Desk folders to show all the support cases that is related to that caller. Likewise, I can also select a particular technician to retrieve all support cases that are assigned to that technician.
I can then load the particular case and view the detail of the support case. In the absence of the assigned technician, I can also work and carry out any delegation authority that I might have to resolve the case on time. Finally, I can also specify a case number to load that particular case item in this web form. This concludes this video demonstration.